Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad Education, and welcome back to watch the output video series on C programming language. So, just like the previous tutorial, let's pause this movie and take a look at the source code, which is here in the editor, and try to guess the output of the program. Once you guys have an answer, just click on the play button. I'm gonna run the program and explain the output. All right, now I believe that you guys have an answer for this program. I'm gonna build and run this. So uh, it's gonna be a build and run. And the answer or you know the output of this program is two, four, and six. And now why the heck we're gonna get the output two, four, and six. So here in this program, we have used this variable i, which is an integer variable, but the main thing is it is a static variable. So when you have a static variable, you know, the C is gonna initialize that one with a value of zero if you don't initialize it. So here, this i variable is gonna contain a value of zero. And then we have this for loop. Now coming to this for loop, the execution of this for loop is gonna be something like this. So first this initialization part will be executed and it is executed only once and then this condition part will be executed and this condition is checked. If this condition satisfies then the statements which are inside this for loop will be executed and after that this updation part will be executed and after this updation part again this condition is checked if this condition satisfies again these uh, statements are executed and then again this updation part will be executed then again the condition then the statements and the cycle repeats so here uh, one thing to remember is this initialization part is executed only once so now Coming back to this program, here we have this variable i with a value of 0 because it is a static variable and it will contain a default value of 0. So now when this for loop is executed, first this initialization part will be executed. So plus plus i, it is gonna increment the value of this variable i. So now after this initialization part, i variable is gonna contain a value of 1 and then this condition part is executed and here also we have plus plus i so again this i variables value will be incremented here in this initialization part it was one and here after this updation part it will be two and after the updation part the for loops statements will be executed just because our for loop condition satisfies. Here, 2 is a non zero value and it is considered as true. And that's why, you know, the for loop condition is gonna satisfy or, you know, it's gonna be considered as true. And we have this printf statement here. That's why it's gonna print out the value of the variable i, which is 2. And after that, this condition will be checked whether this i is containing a value of 6, no. And this if is not satisfied you know if condition so this break statement will not be executed after that the updation part will be executed remember i is containing a value of 2 and here also we have plus plus i and that's why i's value will be incremented again so now it's going to contain 3 and after this updation part again this condition will be checked so again the i variables value will be incremented so here it was 3 in the updation part and now after this a condition part it's gonna be 4 and again this 4 is true and that's why you know this for loop statement will be executed and uh, it's gonna print out 4 and this if condition is gonna fail so again it will come to this updation part now i is containing 4 and after this updation part it's gonna be 5 then again condition part it's gonna be 6 again this for loop statement will be executed so it's gonna print out 6 and then if i is equal to 6 this condition is gonna satisfy and then this break statement will be executed and uh, that will break this for loop and we come out of this for loop and continue to execute the other statements so when we run this program it's gonna produce 2 4 and 6 and when it reaches 6 you know this break statement will be executed 
which will uh, stop this for loop and uh, you know our program will come out of this for loop and uh, execute the rest of the statements so this is it guys for this tutorial thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial